happy, happy, happy Thursday. I was just in my private group. We had to pick our May winner and we decided to do a little product testing from, um, oh crap, Brittany, if you're on here, can you throw my link tree on there? Uh, let me text her. Can you jump on my live and put my link tree in there, please? I forgot to do it. Um, so we, I was in my private group and we did a little product testing with one of those heat transfers that I got from, um, you know, Timu last night. Guys, guess what? They don't have to go on just fabric. I just was able to, I bought, I went to Schoolhouse Salvage today and I got two of these pictures, right? I just did the transfer on this one. It worked, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna finish that one in Royals uh, next Monday. We're gonna do a little set of them to do a little giveaway in the group. So I wanna see if they will work on a silver tray. I think it will work, but did you know that Facebook does not post your note? You have to make sure your notifications are set. Um, I get the notifications. I just saw it come up on my phone. So you have to make sure your notifications are set. Thank you, Jenny, for the stars. They can go anywhere. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, thank you, Beverly. You're awesome. Good comment. Thank you. Awesome. You guys are so cool. Yeah. So, and I wanted to tell you guys too. So we're going to start painting this right. Thank you, Gwen, for this. I'm going to start painting this because I don't want to waste my paint. Um, uh, I didn't know you could put these iron on transfers like on everything or that they actually work, but there was a trick to it. So I don't know if it's going to be like that on metal, but you almost had to let it cool. You had to let it cool to peel it off. Hi, Gianna. They are nice. Never got one for you. Oh, that's so weird. Don't know why. So I'm going to paint this tray white. And hi, Claudia. Hey, Elizabeth. You get the telegram? Yeah. I, I well, you know, I, I don't know Facebook's way of doing things sometimes. But um, I think this is going to be pretty. I don't like this brush. Um can put on a person. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, so anyway, I was like, I said to my private, my Royals, and I was like, let's just do this and see if it works. So we're doing it. I'm going to see if it works on a tray. Oh, I'll show you guys because I'm feeling generous. But here, this is what was up for grabs in my private group the other day. You guys asked to see the flag I made from Would You Bend. This is all Would You Bend, guys. Check a look. And look at all the sparkle. We made that this week in my private group. Isn't that beautiful? There's a flag y'all wanted to see. I'm sure Miss Tina Johnson is going to take that flag. Hi, Dana. Thank you guys for sparkling too. Um, and I think you guys can see anything. I'm getting so many spam phone calls lately. It's crazy. So I got everything booked for our party coming up. Today, I ordered everything, got that all out of the way. Yeah, doesn't it look cool? It came out so amazing. Like, who would have ever thought to make a flag out of Would You Been? I actually got inspired from that, from Decoupage Queen. Beth, I'm always praying for you, sister. Did you see that thing I sent you? I messaged you something that I thought was interesting. But yes, we'll all pray for Beth and everybody else who needs prayers. Uh, Kelly, from what I got so far, they're really nice. I did my Timu haul last night. If you guys missed it, go watch the replay. And I just placed another order this morning. And because I loved it so much and was so happy with what I got, I signed up to be an affiliate with them. So I added that to my link tree. So you guys could go shopping over at Timu. And they pretty much let anybody be an affiliate. So for all my little small business owners out there, um, seriously all, go check it out. Wouldn't hurt to look into it. 
if you have a biz page. Um, big shout out to my friend Wayne with Beating with Wayne. He's going to be in my private group tonight giving us a little demo. So excited. Um, go check his page out, Beating with Wayne. He makes fabulous blingy spiders. Hi, Carol. Again, hello again. I'm back again. This time on the main page. I'm, we'll, and we're going to see. We just did this in my private group on that. It was like on a picture frame. This is metal. So, guys, if it doesn't work, then it'll just be a funky junk fail. And that'll be, that'll be okay. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, okay let's get in pink somewhere. Beating with Wayne is coming in. Cool cat Ken. Hi, Irene. Now I'm going to let this dry really well. I think I'm actually even going to seal this. Um, the Solar Lights Marsha, go check out my story. I did a story. They came out so stinking cool. They, they turned out really nice. I do wash the trays before I do the Michelle, yes. Hi, Maria Nova is in the house. All right, so my paint's a little thick. That's why I think I'm going to seal this. We're trying like a little product testing from Timu. Um, Patty, I don't remember where I got my shirt from. I think it might have been Belle Lily when I used to have an affiliate with them. Um, but I honestly don't remember. I can't wait to get the shirts. Yeah, did you see that? Your soul, the solar lights were so awesome. Can you please send it to me again? I didn't get it. Beth, yes, I will, Beth. It was very interesting. My husband actually sent it to me. Um, because you know, my, my younger brother had cancer, so, um, he sends me informative stuff, and I thought it was interesting. I think it was in Messenger, but I'll send it again, Beth. Um, let's see, and I'm only doing this just, I don't know why. I didn't do it on the last one, but my paint's a little thicker here, because I was excited, so I'm rushing. Uh, Donna, the solar lights, they're like little tiny things, but there's like, it's like a bushel, you know, it's like little six little sprouts that come up and you get two of those per, per box. And they were like six bucks. They're like $3 a piece. But when you're, they're in the ground, they're a good, you know, foot tall, foot and a half tall. I am sealing the paint. We'll see how it works. I did not seal the paint on this one. I just painted that cardboard. And then I put this, I put the transfer right down, but the transfer would not lift while it was hot. I had to wait for it to cool down and then it lifted. Oh, I'm so sorry, Barb. But maybe we couldn't find it. It's on the Royal, Royal Sparkle Chicks, Lori. I ordered, so this order that I placed today from Timu, y'all, I bought like 10 rings. Because I like big, chunky rings. They had a ton of them for like a dollar or two dollars. So I bought a boatload of them. I bought a ton. Now, I had to get creative when I was doing the first one when we were doing it uh, in Royals. I wish there would be battery up with my seven dollars. You know what? I was thinking about that, Donna. So, do you? how many of you know this? Does do those solar lights have to be like in direct sunlight or do they still pull energy in from even a shaded place? Does anybody know the answer to that question? Can sol or does it absolutely need direct direct sunlight? I don't know the answer to that. Yes, Beth, I know that's what I did too, so that's why I was like, guys, I went and made myself an affiliate. It does need direct sunlight. Yeah, I was thinking about that. All mine are over here, and I was thinking about that, but, um, yeah, they won't stay lit for long without direct sunlight. Okay. Yeah. But they look pretty cool. You guys, go check out my story. It's still there. It'll be there till tonight. That's long without direct sunlight. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay. 
So I just cooled this down just a little bit. Now, when I did that first one, I had to get a little creative because I don't have any parchment paper. So what I did, and here, how about this one? You guys like this one? Let's put this bad boy on there. All I did was put it down. You know, they're not sticky or anything. So there's really no right or wrong way. I just wanna make sure it gets in there. I'll lay it down. And how I did it on that other one is I used a piece of decoupage clean paper. I put the print side up. And all I did was take my little mini iron and I just scooped it on there and pressed it on there. Mine actually are in direct sunlight. And it was more like, so I'm just holding this down. I'm using just dick, I'm just using rice paper to heat it up. But I have to say, I noticed that it didn't get, it didn't, it didn't stay. I don't know if it's going to work on this tray. I guess. It, oh, you did see Timo. Go to Timo. Go to Timo. A full bright lights. It does. I have them on my patio, but the solar. Okay but they can also work on cloudy days and in partial shade. Well, you guys just gotta try it. Now, let me see. It worked well on what I painted 20 minutes ago. I don't know if it's gonna work on this tray. Let's see. I just kinda did pieces and parts, but this is metal, so I don't know. Oh, you did, Debbie, and here I am reading your mind. Okay, let's just see. I'm just seeing if it works, y'all. I don't know. I said, that's why I said to my Aurora, I'm like, let me go on the main page and see. Let's see if it works. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's going. But see, what's weird is that I had to wait for it to cool down to peel it off. No, but it was weird when I did that other one, it wouldn't peel, it wouldn't peel until it got cool. It wouldn't peel until it got cool, I'm not kidding. So I kept putting the heat on, got the whole thing pressed down, and I just held it there. Brenda, type in um, just like designer rub-on transfers or Paris rub-on transfers. All right, so then, I let it cool and let's just see because then it peeled right off our cold peel. Really? That's a thing? Thank you, Maria, for the stars. Oh, I hear Maddie. Okay. I didn't know that was such a thing. Hey, Sandy Lance, about a cold peel. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it has to be cool. My top is not from Timu, but I guess they do have one on there. So I do have Timu on my link tree now, y'all. So have at it. Would you not freak out if this just works? It has to cool first, says Nancy. Who would have ever thought? Yeah, as it was cooling, I was able to peel it right off. I didn't know that. I typed iron on transfer. I just typed um, iron on uh, transfer, just type in Paris or designer. Yes, if you've got Lisa, do it. Yep. Put the tray in the fridge because of the transfer paper. Hold on. Wait a minute. I think that needs more heat. And then you can kind of tell, which I have patience for this. Yes, that's the would you bend flag. Yes, ma'am. It has to cool. It's still pretty hot, probably because it's metal. Hello, Mara. Let's do this. This is what I did with the picture. I just air dried it. Nancy, it worked on a picture frame that I just did. Look at me with you. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? All right, I don't know y'all. It's like it wants to come off, but it doesn't want to come off. Let's 
see it. Is it because I sealed it? There it comes. I'm telling you, I know. I think it has to be like totally. Yeah, see, it's peeling my paint. It's different on a tray, I think. Maybe that's just my paint sticking. No, that's just paint. Okay, I'm peeling paint, not the transfer. Oh, it's working. Make sure your paint's real dry. It's peeling my paint up, not the transfer itself. But yeah, the transfer has to be cool. It's like as soon as you as soon as you cool it down, but you have to heat it up first for it to stick, and then once it cools, it comes right it comes right off. Yeah. I'm afraid, I'm a, yeah, see it's the, it's the, maybe don't use a sealer. I'm thinking maybe it's the sealer. Yes, these are for t-shirts, but you know, Kathy is doing something a little different. Because, you know, they need to make these kind of transfers for, like I just said in my private group, uh, Premont and you know, all those people who make transfers, they need to do some cool ones like this, you know? So my paint peeled up. All right, so now we're just gonna let this cool. I guess I'll just keep reheating this. This is what I did before. Yeah, don't, I, maybe don't seal yours first. It's definitely, what was peeling was not the transfer, but the paint. Yeah, see, even that paper is sticking to the the triple thick Duraclair. I thought if you didn't put, I don't know. I'm just trying things different. I'm drying my first paint, my paint first. Hi, Gloria. You probably still have motor stripper. Yeah, I think that's what will happen. Shouldn't give it a shit, right? Hey, you don't know until you know, right, Kathy? That's why I say just, just wing it and try it. There's an Amazon driver here. Should have sealed, yeah. So now you guys know. See, make me be the. Uh, I guess we just keep drying. I bet you this is a cold release. Let you. Yes, that's for decoupage. I'm talking about like a rub-on transfer. Would be cool. Yeah, see, it wants to lift. Is it because it's still warm? You don't have, no, until you do it right. Like a transfer, I could do that. I'm gonna dry her on cool. I only have my heat gun though. It doesn't, I don't think it works like that. It's not, oops, it's not a, it's not a rub on transfer. Oh, but it kind of is acting like a rub-on transfer. To me, it seems to be when it gets cold. Yeah, see, that corner is not sticking. I mean, it's going. You see it on there? If I can get it to work, it's going to be amazing. Cover the boo-boos with bling, exactly. I think... Oh, now see, it's getting cool. Now watch, it lifts right off. It's the most bizarro thing. See that that's not sticking. It's not sticking to my paper. Hold on. I'm looking up the whole damn thing. Jeez Louise. I think it's got to, to be heat. I think it's got to be hot. doesn't want to stick to the thing but it's coming off it's releasing from the the backing but it's not sticking to my tray hey Bertie so, yeah let's see 
It doesn't want to stick to my tray. If I can get the darn thing off, then I can, you know, I can seal it. We're getting somewhere. It might be because of the triple thick. It's definitely coming off, but it's lifting off the tray, but I'll tweak it. I'll make it work. I think we need to do more heat and then keep letting it cool down. It tells you to keep and donate. I don't know. They're making money hand over fist because so many people are buying it. I hear more good reviews than I do from the bad reviews. My heat gun might work. What would that do? That might melt the plastic though, no? Well, it shouldn't. If it can take an iron, it should take heat from the gun, right? It seems to be, I think the trick is waiting for it to cool. Is waiting for it to cool down, I think. Uh-oh. The dog just heard the closet door blow open. You would have thought a ghost walked in our room. Yes, a Cricut heat tool. We were talking about that earlier, too. I think that might be like a Cricut heat press. Use the stick. I don't know that that's really going to make a difference. Oh, I just put a hole in it. Gosh dang, have it. I can cover that up yeah, with some paint. A little tricky. I don't know if it's because I did that or now if I just have to let it sit and get cool. I think it's the cooling. We'll see. Here, we got so far. But see, it's working. And don't mind the hole. But see, it's on there. And then once you, if I can get this paper off, then you can. Oh, I'm sure they're making money. Is HTV. It's heat transfer. Yeah. Um, it's meant for fabric, but I heard that you could put it on anything. Wood. Um, so I'm not sure. Hide it with the bling. I'll paint that and hide it with the bling. I've never put it on. I, neither have I, Gloria. That's why I thought it would be cool to try. I mean, it worked. And look how good it came out on this one that I did in my private group. But this is like canvas, and I didn't seal it. It was just straight chalk paint. So, um, you know, if it doesn't work, how about we repaint it, and I'll try it again. I'm, I'm willing to do that. See, I think it might be because... Should I try it again? I think it's the, uh, I think it was the, uh, Norma, if you go to Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Target or any other store, that's all China products too. So I don't have a problem with cutting out the middleman, to be honest with you. Um, Oh, look guys, it's working. See, it's as you cool it down. Um, so that's my philosophy. That's just my honest opinion. If you're buying from you shop at Target, Hobby Lobby, that's all. That's where they get it from. You know? Really, Donna? I think it's even more like, Kathy, you did. I think it's more because it's, it's a uh, hot. I think once it's totally cold, watch, it's coming right off. Yeah, I think it's just got to be cold. Oh, it even feels like really cool and smooth. Everything you buy, I don't care what store you're going to, it's, yep. All right, so I think we need to heat that up. Yes, it's a process, but it's going to be worth it in the end, right? Yeah, it's very hard. And yes, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big patriot. Don't get me wrong. It's terrible. But 
That's a, yeah, exactly. You're cutting out the middle, man. That's all you're doing. All right, so I just heated this part up that was sticking. Thank you, decoupage queen paper. I'm just ironing the heck out of mermaid song. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to let it sit. Because it seems to be like as soon as it gets to a certain temperature of coldness. Um is when it uh, starts to come off. True, Debbie. I got nothing to say against that except truth. Um, very true. But, on top of that, the couple hundred dollars that I spent at Timu, um, it doesn't, you know, I know if everybody does that, but I still do shop local. I shop all of that. I still think it's a little warm. Hey, cat. These are iron on, but I am trying to tweak it to where I can actually put it on a on a piece of metal tray. See, it's that one piece right there. Look at how pretty though it's looking. <laughs> right on, Joe. Keep the politics out of it. I wish so too, but it is what it is. I put an ice pack. Okay. Yeah, see, it gets to like a certain temperature and then they just come right off. I mean, with a little help, but yeah, that seems to be, you just cool it down a little bit more. No, Sandy, one of my followers, uh, um, one of my followers, uh, sent me that iron. Can we keep going? Can we keep going? Should I just keep swimming, swimming, swimming? See, it's definitely peeling my paint for sure. funny as soon as it gets cold you know me I have the patience of a snail so see it's like literally laying on there I don't think that it's stuck on there very well but we're gonna do something about that I'm gonna go ahead and seal the crap out of this thing it worked and you can see and I think it bubbled right here the heat bubbled my paint and I truly believe it's because I put the sealer on there. So just try this over direct paint. Don't try it over, um, don't seal it. Seal it afterwards and see how that works. Then somebody let me know. Um, Yeah, Sandra, I wish I could say that, but the phone that I use, the computer I have, everything came from there. So if I had to do that, I would probably have nothing. Um, anyhow, so I think I can put this over here. Now let's try and see, but look it. It's on there. And if I wouldn't have like flubbed up my paint up here, but you know, we can put diamond dust over this and I kind of nicked up my little thing right there. I don't know if I could smooth that out. I could just touch it over with some, I think what I'll do is I'll just touch it up with a little bit of black paint. Try to get another piece. You guys are so funny. 
Let's just throw some paint on there. Never see it. Look at that. Would you look at that? Perfect. Yeah, try it. And you might see, you might even find something that works even better for you. Um, you know, see it wants to lift a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this again because I don't want that to lift. And then um, let's see what happens to that. I know, right? Laurel, just don't do what I did. You can paint it. It worked better on flat paint when I did the first one. Then I went and sealed it with the triple dig dirt clear. Um, so now I'm just going to go in and do it. We got to finish. Yeah, you're going to. Band that dude, he was weird. I don't think he belonged here. I think if it's already failing, it's still going to lift. And not if I seal it. I used uh, just acrylic craft paint. Let's see. We don't know until we try if it's lifting because it, it is lifting. I could peel this thing right off of here. But I think once we here, we're doing product testing. I don't know. I would think though that it's just like decoupage that once you you know seal that thing down it ain't going anywhere i would think could be wrong but i would think or ha, wait i got something if this doesn't work you know what will one word ladies epoxy epoxy yeah, see, it's pulling it a little bit. So if this doesn't work on keeping that graphic down, because it is, I see what you mean, may not work, then all I'll do is epoxy that, and then that thing ain't going every, anywhere. So epoxy would definitely work. Let's see what it looks like when it's dried, if it's down there. Um, resin, yep. Epoxy will work for sure. That would be cool. Exactly. Happy accents. You don't know until you try. Epoxy and resin, it's the same thing. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, y'all. I think maybe... Let me look at the first one I did. Now, see, this one is down there. It ain't coming off. You can see where it's stuck on there. I think it's because I sealed it. I'm just going to go out on a limb there and say that. Lene, you're the, does anybody else try this? Can anybody else access the Timu link in my link tree? Can somebody try that link in my link tree? and see if it works. Lene is having a hard time getting in there. I wonder if it's because you're in Norway. Maybe, you know, there's something going on. Maybe there's a website for um, different parts of the world. I think it's down there. I think it's going to be fine, but I think it'll look better with, a, with acrylic. Hi, Maria. And ordered Carol. Okay, so see, it worked for you. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe, Lene, try the one in my link tree. It should work. I think we're going to epoxy this bad boy. All right, now what do we do to it? So if we're going to epoxy it, then I would suggest no diamond dust and no... Um, It worked for everybody, it looks like. Oh. oh, he's sleeping. Do you hear him? He must be dreaming. Do you hear him? Oh, he's so sweet. 
to hear it. Oh, he's twitching and he's running in his sleep. You guys see him? Because I went to like I learned it was a long like in the pool. I don't know why it didn't work for you, Lene. That's like on your link tree, it was a long link and it didn't that's weird. I don't know. He probably is chasing something he's been chasing squirrels out like nobody's business lately. His legs were moving, yeah, Kim. Bobby, why are you so tired? Come here, why are you so sleepy? Now he just rolled over. He's like, I'm tired, mom. <laughs> He's so funny. Did you hear him? All right, so I think I need to epoxy this. What do I do to the outside? What do you guys think? Black, or we can put some like black stripes around and then do gold or black. I think black would be sharp all the way around here. I'm thinking like a nice, or just keep it simple black and do no stripes and then just um, bling it out. No, I don't want to add bling to the epoxy. To the epoxy. They, they kind of get weird looking. So I'll, if I want to add um, any, oh, wait, you know, it would be cute. I'll add it right on top of the epoxy. Hold on, y'all. I'll put one of these little boob ads right there. How about right up here? Look at that be like its own little Coco Chanel thing. Small black stripes. I'm thinking no stripes and I'm thinking black around the outside edge with a little bit of gold rub and buff. I think it's got enough pink and then we can epoxy and then you drop that little, um, you drop that little, uh, you know, thing right there and then and maybe add some bling around the outside would be I do have black rub and buff. I'm thinking like solid black though. And then, um, let's see. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. I think I have enough here. Yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work one way or another. Thinking solid black. You know me, I like black and gold. Yes, now you're speaking my love language. As long as I'm out of here in an hour, we got we got Wayne coming up in the private group. Okay. Black crystals. Ooh. Right. All right, so I'm just gonna go and I'm just going to kind of like carefully frame out those little flowers there and then fill them in the sides. I've never done a tray like hot pink and black. Look at how good this is gonna be. Um, they The transfers, I just put in design, designer transfers, designer fashion transfers, uh, I typed in Paris transfers because some of them have the word Paris. Guys, there's literally thousands of designs. I mean, just scroll until you find one that you like because they are like, there's a gajillion of them. See, we learned something new today. Would have ever thunk it. Thunk it. A little bit of patience. I don't have that much patience for stuff like that, but 
all in all, I'd say it worked. Look at how pretty that's gonna be. Mm. Imagine this in like your dressing room. Debbie Rigg, is that who you're talking about, Carolyn? Debbie Rigg is on. You have to go watch her in Check Savvy Sisters now. She lost her business page. Um, so you have to go visit her in her group, Check Savvy Sisters, and then her private members who were in her subscription group, um, they have Check Savvy Live for the paid members now. Um, yeah. I don't know if she'll get her page back or when she's getting or what's going on with that. That's just all I know. So we're just filling all that in. I don't even know if it needs like gold. I kind of like it. Look, I, I do everything with like an off white. Um, but uh, kind of like it without the gold. I'm thinking just keeping it black. I kind of like that stark glam looking type without the gold. What do you guys think? I think that's where my gut feeling is going. I like it just black too. Now that I'm looking at it on there, I'm kind of digging it. Um, what's for dinner tonight, everyone? I had fish last night. I don't know. Michael's been going up to the restaurant a lot lately because he's been working late because he's got a race coming up on Saturday. I'm so excited. I get to go racing with my husband this weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to my mother-in-law's to help her with a... Uh, she's having an estate sale because they bought a new home. And she's selling most of her stuff to go into the new home. Look at how pretty. Oh, see, I think I just like it black and white. Fish at the musky, brown gravy, shredded roast beef, mashed potatoes, and buttermilk. Ooh, he does, he's a drag racer, Kim. You haven't cooked since February 5th, 16th. Aw. Grilled, ooh, grilled, I can make it. I could go for my chicken salad. I make a mean chicken salad. Okay. Let me see if this is this. Now see, that sealer worked. It's not lifting. It's not lifting. Once that sealer dried, it is down. It's working like a champ, but I think this would look good. I think this would look good. Um, epoxied. Dinner at the Little League Field. I remember those days, y'all. Yep, enjoy them. God, I can't tell you the days and the number of hours that I have spent at football arenas, uh, baseball fields, driving all over. I'm still doing it. Uh, and next Friday I leave for Baltimore. Me and Jackie. Um, we'll be back Sunday and then the week after that we're going to Philly. Make sure you get into all those little nooks and crannies when you're painting. And she thinks it may be pretty. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Such a shame. Um, I hope not, but I know we've talked about that before. You all know where to find me on here, right? If that were to ever happen to me, um, I'm on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok.
We'd find a way. Okay, the black is done. I am loving the black. Do you guys think it needs anything in the around the inside? I don't know. I kind of just like it like it is. And then if we add one of these little CCs right here. Kind of digging it. What do you guys think? Twitter, I'm not on Twitter. Uh, Wayne is at six o'clock, bro, or Betty. So it's five o'clock now. So do you guys think epoxy? I could also, see, I, I wanna say like glitter or like a, what if I do a thin black stripe all the way around on the inside and just call it a day? Should I do an inner black stripe or just leave it like an inner black line just right around there or just leave it? I feel like it, I don't have black. Yeah. Yes, you like, I like it too, it's something different, right? Um, should I just leave it? It's a little caca -y in the on the inside because you know where the paint peeled. But oh well, it's a one. In, it's a one of a kind. It's a one of a kind. You know. Okay, so you guys want to stick with me while I epoxy? Who wants to watch me epoxy? We probably don't need a whole lot, but. Lisa, uh, diamond dust will not show up under epoxy, so that would be futile. Um, uh, the CC logos, I got those from... Uh, I don't remember. Debbie Rigg is the one who told me about it. And I think they went out of business. Yes, I need to over the weekend. I think the black, yes, I need to. What do you need to do over the weekend? It's at least like for to get it. Um, if you if you do it, you have to make sure that it's like um you put heat on it and then it's like a waiting game. Heat and then you have to let it completely cool and then it peels up. Make a stop for it on the table. Make a stop what? Ill Fate Jor is another one you can do. Yes, um, I think they have those. I'm not sure, I've never ordered from there. I ordered from the other one, but I think they went out of business. Um, Ill Fate Jor is one of them. I think that's the second one she found. Uh, I don't know, I just typed in uh, I think it, I was just scrolling, but you could do like Paris transfers, uh, rub on transfers. Do you think two and a half should be good? I think that should be plenty. That's one of them. So this is what I use. This is Envirotex um, is my, I like this epoxy. Churchy and Co. That's where it used to come from. Yeah. Um, you got to make sure that you're doing total even parts. Okay. You want to wear rubber gloves. Do not touch your face or your hair when you're doing epoxy. Hi Jeanette. And then you just, then you're gonna pour into another cup. Make sure you get it all.
I love the sound of little kids playing in the street. Okay. Ah. This has no VOCs at all. It's not smelly at all. Not in the slightest. Like you don't have to wear a respirator. This is not stinky like some of the ones that I know. I don't know personally, but I've heard that they're horrible. I don't have that issue. Okay, so you wanna make sure you get all of that. Get a new stick. Now you're gonna stir. Uh, hey Siri. Uh -huh. Set a timer for three minutes. Okay, and then you're gonna stir your epoxy. This is resin, yeah, resin, epoxy. Um, and you're just gonna keep stirring it. I epoxy that tray. This one, that beautiful floor one I did on um, um, Paint Pixie the other day. Oh my God, it came out fabulous with the resin on it, epoxy. This might hide some of my mistakes too where the paint peeled. The quick cast from Hobby Lobby. Is that casting resin? This isn't casting resin. This is, you know, this is uh, epoxy. Casting resin, I have casting resin too, but that's different. Casting resin is different, I think. I have casting resin, it turns white, heats up. This is Envirotex from Hobby Lobby. Melva, the race this weekend is in Norwalk, Ohio. Uh, I got Hobby Lobby, um, Hobby Lobby um, resin, or whatever you call this, epoxy resin. And, uh, and then I went on Amazon and got the big jugs of it because I was using it so much. Casting resin is very different, yeah. It turns white, yes, and you only need to mix it for 45 seconds. It gets real hot. And you can see, like, this is nowhere near. See all those little, like, it's blurry. You can see all those little strings in there. Yeah, we're going to Norwalk on Saturday. Yep. Going to be hot. Hot mama. Okay, so you just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Casting resin that turns white, yeah, but cures in fourth. Oh, no kidding. I have never seen that. I remember when Debbie did that, Jan. She thought it was resin, and she poured casting resin and immediately went white. And I was watching it, and I'm thinking, when she said, oh, it's turning white, it's time to pour it on, I was thinking, no, don't do it. Yes, Fran, it's a heat transfer that I put on the, on the plate. Now see, now I'm starting to see those little fingers disappear. Now it's starting to get clear. And now we've got 10 seconds left, so. So you just stir it for three minutes. You can't, you gotta make sure you stir it. Okay, there's my timer. Okay. Here we go, folks, here we go. Okay. Now, my turntable, you know, my desk is not centered, is not level, so I'm going to try to get this, hold on, maybe what I'll do, let's take this, let's get rid of that, keep this flat. Can you guys still see what I'm doing? Let me see. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this, you want to keep it as flat as possible. Do I have anything I could put this on? Flat. I need something flat. Flat is not wobbly. Let me see. Here's a tray. Oh crap, Ola Bowl. I thought I was about to knock that over. I guess this is good enough. Ready? We're going with it.
and it's self, it should be self-loving. It'll probably like push itself out, but I try to get it up over there. Might be a little much, but you know what? It's gonna cover it all up. A little bit, so then you can use your fingers to smooth all that in there. Do that. Hold on, y'all. I keep one on. I can tell that that is, see, it's not level. So I can tell by looking at this thing that it's not level. And that's the thing that I don't have the luxury of because I don't have anything my desk is not level. But when I put this on the floor, I will put this on the floor and then I'll put a box over it. So now you're gonna heat it up. So you don't get no bubbles. Make sure that you know it all looks even on the side, which it looks cool. Can you guys see that? I know it's hard to see, and I don't want to tip it because then it'll move. And I'll put this on the floor, and then it'll be level. Guys, it totally took every single like, what do you call it? Um, like the parts that looked crappy, it made it look perfect. Yes, I'm putting the CC on but I'm blowing stuff in there. This is why you need to cover anything that you put epoxy on because every little dust flake, every little, every little thing will show in there. Oh, look, there's a Rocky hair. There's a dog hair in it. That's what I'm saying, like, oh, I got it. Every little thing will show. This is going to be fabulous. Um, and then you're gonna drop your little thing here. Guys, I'm nervous. Here, I'm gonna hold it by this. I'm gonna just plop it right there. I'm not gonna to touch it. Now the pearl is sticking up a little bit, that's okay. But I hope that doesn't screw it up and I hope it doesn't shift. Oh, trying to get it. Just right. Okay. All right, so guys, I'm going to leave it just like that. I am going to, it's got one little bumps for that paper where the transfer is like sticking through. So I'm going to try to put those down, like flatten them down. Or like when you do that and you get it leveled, I don't think it's going to matter. It's very, very cool. It's sunk down into it, but it's level with the gem. The grindstones are not underneath the epoxy, I don't think. If they are, they are. What are you going to do? Yes, I'll cover it. I mean, at this point, if they sunk down into there, there's really nothing you can do. I'm just kind of... I don't think the, I don't think the rhinestones are covered. If they are... It'll still be cool. It'll be one of a kind. Yeah, that might shift upon drying, but I don't think so. I think it's down pretty 
I think it's pretty good. Guys, I can't wait to show you this. Like, um, I'll try to maybe pop on tomorrow evening when I get home. I maybe around four. I think I'll be back for my mother-in-law's. But can you kind of see it? I know it's kind of hard. I'm gonna go put this on the floor. I'm gonna go put this on the floor, and then. Um, Yeah, see, that's shifting. I hope that doesn't shift. I'm almost leery of leaving it on there. Do you guys like it? I'm almost leery of leaving it on there. Because what if it shifts? I guess I'm just going to leave it. We'll wing it. If it shifts, it's going to shift down. Then it's going to be weird, but then it'll be a one of a kind. That's for sure. Um, but I'm going to put this on the floor. And then... Um, you know what would be cute, I think, is little, yeah, see, I get I, like little gold dots and glue dots and all that stuff, but I will show you guys this later. I can't lift it up. It's going to start moving all around, and I don't want that to move anywhere. I can see where, as I'm going, it's moving. Guys, go play around with epoxy. It's the best thing ever. There is a tiny black thing on your left. That's on the tray. That's a scuff that I did when I was making it, so that's all staying. I can't do anything about that. That's on there. Just come back and check on it. Yeah. I don't know if I want to add any gold. This is silver. I kind of like it just harsh and blue. I know. I like it white and black. I wish we had another way to show comments. I know, right? It's annoying. Oh, a spot on my shirt. Oh, I did that today. Yeah, Sam, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't wear white. Um. Anyhow, that was fun, guys. So, try it out. Go click the Timu link. Have fun. Order some transfers. You never know. Look at that. Never thought it would have worked. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great Thursday evening. And I hope uh, tomorrow, I think it's 10 to 4. So maybe I'll jump on and I'll show you, even if I do a story or a reel or something. And then um, we can all figure it out and look at it together and see how pretty it is. It's very chic. Exactly. Is there a dog here? Dog here on the floor. Sure is. But when I did that last one, I covered it up real quick and it was fine. Uh, Catherine, I have so many trays. Um, but anyway, guys, um, just go watch some of my old replays. There's a ton of them, like all that. <laughs> There's lots of lots of trays. Um, yes. The iron was hot. It's definitely a hot iron. I mean, it's a little iron. Um, yep. Bye for now, everyone. Have a great evening. And my Royals, make sure you're in the private group at 6 p.m. Eastern for Beating with Wayne. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.